What's up, beautiful people? Thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite infotainment show, Hot and Juicy, with me, Miss Bang. Hope you guys are doing fine. I am doing fine too, and ready to give you all that happened to the entertainment industry this week. So, guys, stick around, go nowhere. I'll be right back for the first segment. More on biggie updates, guys. Just a few more days left for us all to know who is going home with the mega sum of. 15 million francs CFA. Woo! You can't wait. Then our team mother were evicted last week, leaving us with few flatmates going into the finals. And it's no news that season two of this biggie reality show have been full with plenty of drama. We've watched all the vibes coming out from the house. We've had fights, arguments, and a whole lot. We've even had people ganging up against each other, showing how tough the competition is. And so far, it's been a great one. Who will walk home with the 15 million francs CFA, guys? I mean, who amongst Magdo, Patience, Noni White, Clement, Bishop, Fish, Adak, and Jodone will emerge winner of this revolution season of Biggie 237? Who? Who can guess it right? For the past couple of weeks, guys, Fish has been topping the eviction chart. But last week, Patience surprised us all by topping the eviction chart with 18.22%, followed by Noni White. Now you understand why you should not put all your organs on reality shows, right? There have been a lot of innovations on this season 2 of Biggie 237. I must confess, now let's all wait for Sunday to come so we all know who the winner is. It's been raining insults on the internet between Cameroonian artist Tizi Panchak and YouTuber Mr. J. Tizi Panchak called Mr. J an arata. That's a rat, if you know what I mean. After he called him out for showing up four hours late for his Toronto show, Mr. J qualifies this as unprofessionalism to the extent of asking a refund of his $40. This is what he said. No Nigerian artist will keep people waiting for over two to three hours. Professionalism helps your career. It's 11 p.m. No tizzy panchak. Wasn't this supposed to be from 8 to 3 a.m.? All say where? Hope I get my $40 back like this. Toronto goes small for we Tizzy did not find this funny at all. He clapped back with this. Arata. My people in Toronto felt the love and I'm still more Nigerian than you, blood. It's true, many of us do not know who Mr. J was until Tizzy Panchak was booked for a show in Toronto. And it's not a secret. Now, what was Mr. J's objective calling out Tizzy? Because Tizzy said he was already at the show's venue at 8 p.m. Insinuating Mr. J was lying when he said he came three to four hours late for the show. Things went off when Mr. J kept trying to compare Tizzy Panchak to Nigerian artists. Something fans did not find funny at all. This is what Mr. J said. It's been nine months we haven't seen you perform, not do anything close to these Grammy winners and stadium feeling artists. How about you start by respecting showtime and being humble to say you're sorry for starting four hours late? And oh, do give away with that 200 Canadian dollars from your toes on me, you dick. Bonner boy, Whiskey Davido, and not your mate. Okay, guys, let's assume Mr. J was right with what he said. Was the comparison necessary? I don't know, maybe he went this far because Susie Panchak publicly insulted him by calling him a rat. Oh my God. Calling a human being a rat just because he laid a complaint against you without even insulting you. Okay, guys, coming from an artist that we all respect this much, Susie Panchak. That was poor, right? Anyways, Susie Panchak, after being called out, apologized by saying, Well, my bad, I called him a rat. Now snake him be. The green one. He wasn't even at the hall. I was there from 8 till 10. Second artist and fifth person to be there was even there waiting for the sound guy to come so I do my check. He just probably saw a picture and said, hey, opportunity comes but once. Let me remind him Nigerians organize better shows and have Grammy or prefer I sang at an empty hall so he will laugh as usual. Same thing he did to Kosi. We already know only blind people will call that character a fan. Well, even Judas is still considered a disciple after serving Jesus. So fan it is. Ah, this industry is crazy, guys. Really crazy. 
Another drama on the internet this week was from Phil Bill trying to compare himself to Nigerian music producer Mastercraft. After saying he would never take 500,000 francs to produce a song, Cameroonian music producer Phil Bill went ahead to compare himself with Nigerian music producer Mastercraft by saying he is more talented than him. Guys, listen to this. Mastercraft has a bigger platform and his works are more exposed than mine. He works with artists who work with top-notch music marketers and distributors for that I respect. But mind you, he's not talented than me. I have my own spiritual creation when it comes to music production and he has his. I bet you I can produce most of the beats he produces but he can't produce because he has sickle on jam, etc. Put me in a studio session with those top-notch artists he works with and I bet you, you will never want to let go of me. You know why? Because I'm not just a music producer, I'm also a singer with plenty of melodies and vibes, but he's not. An artist working with me has a double advantage, but above all this, I have mad respect for his works. Wait guys, is there no other country in Africa Cameroonians can compare themselves with? Why always Nigeria? Is it an obsession? Are we that intimidated by Nigerians? I mean, why the comparison to begin with? Nigeria is far ahead of us in many domains, more precisely in the entertainment domain. Instead of comparing ourselves with them, why don't we learn from them and be a reference to others? Is Mastercraft even aware that Phil Bill is more talented than him? I mean, guys, don't get it twisted. Phil Bill is a great music producer. He has done it and we have seen it. And personally, if I was to choose between Mastercraft and Phil Bill, I would choose Phil Bill. Guys, you get it? If you don't get it, guys, then let's move. And 237 Showbiz, like, we're not going to keep with some kind of comparison them too. Cameroonian comedian CY International almost passed out this week after he was involved in a fatal accident with Sparkle around Ekona Hills. Guys, watch what happened. But any man where talk say God know they exist. Mind this, life. Camion jam me and my friend Sparkle. Life, mind this. Camion on to he, mind this so for Ekona he. Going to Moyoka, mind this so. Now the camion is on tumble. He jam me and my friend face to face. See the moto, mind this. Moto, shoe moto. I'm a this way, camion jam him face to face. Now in that, see him. I'm a this way, camion jam him. Untimely death will not be your portion, oh Pancho. We thank God so very much for saving your life and that of Sparkle. Jato Sonita and her team are back with another heart-melting video in which she murders one of Ali Pupa's songs at Fly. You guys, watch and enjoy. Moto yo balinga kamingina bolingo a koki Ko chonje a via ko mana e rebel wan de la mo A fly e A sa mole e luan de la mo A dos ye Mote ba Briefly on our international showbiz scene, guys, popular Nigerian twin stars Paul and Peter Okoye are now following back each other on Instagram. And it has been total jubilation in Africa since this happened. The twin superstars have been on the low key with each other for a long time now, over issues not fully revealed. And ever since, fans have been praying so hard for the twin brothers to sort out their differences and reconcile with each other. Are our prayers gradually been heard by God? I mean, guys, should these two following back each other on Instagram be considered as a step towards reconciliation? We hope it is the case because we have missed them a lot on the music scene and we can't wait for a comeback. Okay, guys, that's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much for still watching. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notification. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Opening our playlist this episode is this beautiful song titled For You from Motobanga. Motobanga! Rap men on the beat. Popping up 
for the ninth position is Shabasiko from Rhythms. The cracks comes up at the eighth position with Nange. I want marry woman where he's happy, shake a body like a Rihanna. Go. I want marry woman where he's happy, shake a body like a Beyonce. Who's up? I marry Nange, Nange come show me na him daddy. Tango Eddie comes up at the seventh position with Kualamba. See, I've been searching for love. C'est difficile to trouver. Maintenant, je l'ai trouvé. Like Do you agree featuring Kamini Man No Die comes up at the sixth position? Now my way give up be fuck up. Now we'll be no saying that's all life go take and turn up. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Get your gun and keep your head up. I don't know if now which corner you did. Steve B comes up with the song Abigail and it takes our fifth position. Abigail no thing I me, no kind of thing I me for you. Popping up at the fourth position is this brand new smashing banger titled La Dot from Meshi. Every day is my baby's day. As always, I put him on the first place. Every day. Avelo Jess comes up at the third position with this brand new release titled Au bout de mes rêves. Rêve, j'irai au bout de mes rêves. Rêve, j'irai au bout de mes rêves. Rêve, j'irai au bout de mes rêves. Kabwe Nanji makes his grand entry into the music industry with this song titled C'est Grave Ici, featuring Papi de Petit Pays. On l'appelait Christel, notre sister du quartier. Elle faisait pas modèle, elle est de même pour le quartier. A cause de son bon cœur, vous l'avez donc tué. Elle avait ses projets, elle avait sa famille. Topping our playlist this episode is this beautiful song banging and trending everywhere titled La Galère from Kosi. Give me the mic, yo. La Galère. Okay guys, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bing. Hope you guys had a lovely moment in my company. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I just said here. And please make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Give this video a thumbs up too, guys. Don't forget to share. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the camera entertainment industry, stick to us. It's 237 Showbiz. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. I'm very much active on our website too. Please make sure you join our Telegram channel. It's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new division, 237 Showbiz. It's with your skies. Do have a great week. I was please stay. Arrata. <laughs> Arrata.